Welcome back to Overtime Basketball in what has been a tremendous battle so far with Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan. We're, we're going to keep this one going. The Thunder control the tip. Good luck. Again, the Thunder score. What a game. This lead continues to go back and forth. No question about it. This has been a competitive game. Thomas. That's in. Coming off an assist by Kobe. Thomas got 24 points. Westbrook passes to Durant. Now Thomas defending. Back to Westbrook. Over Bynum. Goes back up. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Good on the first, and that ties this game up. And he's unable to get the second one. He couldn't make them all, but at least he got this game tied up. Fader on the way. Kobe misses. Did you see his balance there, guys? Really faded away. I think that's why he missed. Here's Kobe. A minute 20 left in the second overtime period. And here we are. On the money with the open jump. Kobe's got 25 points in the game. Our timeout called by Oklahoma City. They trail by two. 115 left in the second overtime period. Good stuff. Here's Westbrook. Outside Durant. Goes up. So the whistle blows on the shot. And two free throws for the contact right there. They get Paul Gasol. And the official all over that one. That's a good call there. You got to give credit to the official there. I mean, being in the right position to make that call, that's what they get paid to do. Durant hits them both. Well, the pressure doesn't phase him. But you can feel the intensity in the air. This game is tight and tense. Thomas, no luck. Not the best shot. Long range and with a defender right in his space. And defensively, that's the kind of work he's known for. I mean, he loves to lock you up. Speeds it to Hart. Ibaka dishes to Durant. Kobe with the steal. Well, they've been a bunch of bandits today. Steals coming one after the other. Guys, that was not an easy rebound there. I mean, he had some competition for that ball. Goes right up. Buries it. Boy, coming through with the game in the balance. Yep, a game-changing clutch bucket there. Thomas, defended by Durant. Bynum kicks to Thomas. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. He hasn't been much help to them offensively here in overtime, Kevin. Maybe he's just exhausted. Sinks the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. Gets them both, and it's a four-point ball game. Well, he's on flap. He calmly nets his free throws, and it's a two-possession ball game. Timeout called the Lakers. They're down by four. We've got 22 seconds left in the second overtime. What a game. What's your take, guys? Well, they're going to have to use this timeout to set up a quick scoring play if they're going to try to get back in it. And then, Steve, they'll follow that up with an immediate foul. I think that's all they can do to try to win. He's such a clutch shooter, Kevin. He just lives for the big shot. Here is Harden. 19 seconds left to play in the second overtime period. Could not get a winner with just one the first. That'll put him up by two. Perfect from the line. And it's a three-point ball game. And the Lakers call time here. They're trailing by three. 17 seconds left to play in the second overtime of quite a heated game. Guys, what do you think? Well, down three, you don't necessarily have to go for the three. You could go for the quick bucket and then the foul. I'm not sure. I mean, in this situation, I think they should look for the three, Steve. I mean, try to tie this thing up. You've got three-point shooters. Let it fly. 
And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. Good on the first, and that gives him a four-point cushion. Second free throw misses. Now here's Bynum, and Fisher kicks to Kobe. Here's Thomas, sinks it. And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. Pretty pass here, right where he needed to put it. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. They're up by one. Three seconds left to play in the second overtime period. Could not get a winner with just one. And now they foul and stop the clock. He doesn't hit the first. Connects on number two, and that'll put him up by two. So a close game sees Oklahoma City taking this one. Clark, a double overtime game can really take its toll on the players. And after this one, the officials, the fans, everyone's going to have to take a, uh, a needed rest. Yeah, exactly. But I tell you what, they showed me the heart of a champion here in this one. Thanks for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. We'll see you next time. And now, our Jordan player of the game, Kevin Durant.